Ooh, what's up everyone, my name is Nagarka. Welcome back to Planet Base. Really quick, we are in Beta 9, which just, it did a little bit. The only important things are guards now take 20% less damage than intruders and colonists. Uh, max number of extra intruders due to high prestige reduced to 3 from 4. Fix some intruder glitches. Add more names and surnames. And tweaked sandstorm duration and damage. Now, we can load up. There we go. Your base's welfare is critical. You can't, you won't get any new colonists if they see your base is poorly run. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's accurate because they they've they just keep coming in for me. Uh, yes, I still have colonists off, and as usual, it's been a couple of days. So I think there was something that I really wanted to look really quick in here for. I forgot what it was already. I'm sure it'll pop up at some point. So we have 88 colonists. I think I would like to make sure that my food is doing okay before I allow in any more though. But because I have so, so many nice resources thanks to this new processing plant, I am going to start working on an anti-meteor laser and another telescope. Another telescope first. So let's go with a telescope. Can I shove you anywhere? No. You're probably gonna have to go all the way out here, which is gross. Uh, I really don't want it to be out here, but it's gonna be. Okay, we're gonna attack you on right there. And also, that's gonna mean that we need another telescope console, right? Right there. Great. I'm gonna be working towards getting the starport, because... I'm starting to feel a little bit confident that I can I can actually get one of those. Just a little bit confident. My one semiconductor is in this thing, which is a little bit annoying. But I guess that's fine, because they're actually making a gun. And I'm probably going to have to tack on some more armories somewhere and start allowing more more and more guns to be built. I think that's gonna be pretty pretty important. But for right now, we're just going to get that, that telescope, just to make sure that things go well. And I'm still, there's still so many things that I have to build in general. Hey, training ship. No, you don't have anything interesting. So I'm looking at my food. I'm making sure that meals stay above like 30 or 40. That would be ideal. And oh, that's what I was going to look up. Sleep. Sleep is what I was going to look up. Colonist sleep. This is a measure how sleepy a colonist is. If it goes low, colonists will be less effective at work and they will stop working altogether if it drops below a certain level. Colonists can sleep in a bunk in the dorm. They will try to do this at night and keep a routine, but if they can't, either because they need to work or if there is no space, they will do it at any time. So they do try to keep a schedule. Another way of recovering sleep is in a proper bed in a cabin. Each colonist will always use the same bed and no other colonist can use it. This recovers sleep faster and also recovers morale. So they do try to keep a sleep schedule, so that's part of why this is all messed up, because they're sleepy during the day. And now it's gonna be night, and now they're all gonna go, they're gonna go night-night. That's basically what happened. I'm gonna play with my camera a little bit. Feels off. Always feels off when I haven't, like when I come back to it after a couple days. Unoperated. The structure is not being oper- oh. <laughs> it has that when it isn't even built. That's nice. How's my power grid right now during the middle of the night, if I could find it? Ooh, not not great because there's no wind, but it should be fine. So my meals are staying up, but my vegetables... My vegetables are not doing so hot. Vitromeat is doing okay. I don't think we're having any malnutrition issues. Not yet, at least. Because I'm trying to figure out what's going to go over here. And I know I already have this, and it isn't being worked adequately. But I'm still concerned to let in more people to do it, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna let in more people. And I do want 10% guards. Is that already a colonist ship? Jesus Christ. Um... I guess I got someone and I just didn't see what it was. Oh, visitor! Oh, 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 intruder has been killed. Um, I was curious why my thing didn't go up. Intruder, A.M. Phelps. 
Well, there's, there's our first intruder. I was like, my number didn't go up. Is that a bad person? And then it was just, it was just over. Jesus. Okay. Yellow alert. I don't know exactly what they did to the yellow alerts, but I'm sure they did something. I just, I just don't know what it is. Freaking our first intruder. Baby's first intruder. They got shot to shit though. Did you see that? There was like six people in here just nuked them. That was great. Food? Maybe I'm maybe I'm just being paranoid about food. I think that might be it, is I'm just paranoid. My metal is really high now though. Compared to what it was. Hey, sandstorm not that bad. No alert. Meteor, yeah. And I think my next meteor is actually going to be over here because it covers a certain radius. And so far this looks like it's covering a good amount of my base. That's an airplane. But if I have it over here, it's going to also cover anything that I build over here in the future. So I think the next anti-meteor laser will be over here when I finally build it. For right now, I don't think I'm going to get it. I just wanted, I wanted the percentage to be up. 60% kind of sucked. 84% is pretty good. Pretty good. So let's actually look at over here. What am I going to be doing over here? I'm going to need more cabins over here. I'm not, I really don't need another robotics facility. The one is going to hold me for a long time. You know what? Trading ship, what do you got? GM tomatoes. Oh man, it would take spares out the butt to get that. Look at how many spares that would take. Technically I could take out like that, but that's, that's too much. It's just too much. But, plus one starport. Did I mess this up? Oh god, I built too much over here. I built too much over here! Ah, crap. I'm gonna have to get rid of that water extractor. That's what's in the way. Alright, who is it? Okay, these are two good people. My actual numbers went up. That's a biologist and an engineer. Alright, so we're gonna replace that water extractor. That was dumb. That was a dumb. We'll just tack it on right here. And once that's actually built, I'll get rid of this. I don't want to accidentally get rid of it and then regret it. Um, yeah, I still don't know what I'm going to do about that airlock situation. I'm definitely going to have to build one, like, right here. Which might mean even building, like, another storage up here. And oh, expanding over here honestly isn't the best because my map ends right here. Yeah. Is my power still doing good? Should be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm also, uh, just a little bit off topic. Kind of still on topic because it's still planet base. I'm thinking about making, like, a sort of a tips video or something. Like, my top tips to making a successful colony. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know. Did I really... No. I saw it. I saw it. It can go there. I saw that it can attach. I just had to find it. I know that it said it can attach. I literally just saw it flash for a second. It's in here. It is like right, right. There's a ship coming in. I don't care. It's like right. I'm so close to it. Nailed it. Yeah. I got it. So we're finally going to get one of them. 91. That is another engineer, it looks like. No, it's guards. I'm getting guards. What am I saying? But did you see? He came in this area exactly as planned. That was entirely to plan what happened. He came in there, got shot to shit, and deserved it. So that is why I'm building all of that. That is so good. Man, that anti-meteor laser is doing work. Its charge is actually kind of low. Only one of these is being worked right now? What's wrong with you? Freaking lazy engineers. 
But yeah, Starport, that's 10 metal that is going down the drain. But it's something that I've been meaning to do for so long. And I think I may have just been a little bit over paranoid about, about getting it, but I think rightfully so, because intruders are scary, man. Those things are terrifying. Wow, that anti-meteor laser is really going to town. That is just insane. Also, someone said I missed a spot in one of my biodomes. I don't, I don't think I missed a spot anywhere. Yeah, that one has three on each, that one has three on each, and that one has four on each. I didn't miss one. Probably just didn't see this one. Little tomato pad. I can understand that. Alright, GM... Oh, farm dome patent. Huh. I have 42 spares right now. I actually have a lot of spares. So... Man, I want the driller bot too. I want, like, all of this. 560. I can do this. How much more will that add on? That'll add on another... 184? No. I'm, I'm bad mathing. It's like 224. Wow. Oh man, I really want that. But I think the farm dome... I think it'll give me something cool to work with, and I'm actually going to take away a few of these just to trade in some of the starch, just so I'm, I'm not in a sparse crisis on accident. But yeah, we're totally getting the farm dome patent. Is that, is it just going to like add on here? I'm super interested in this. Watch, it's going to be like, only GM onions and tomatoes in here, and I'll be so upset. Here goes my ants, working on... Working on trading stuff. Yeah, spares is going down, because we built things. Guns are about to go down too, because my guards are going to security console stuff. Yeah, I, I really want an upgrade to this. Just faster airlock doors is all I need. How's my oxygen doing in some of these outside parts? I just need to make sure that... Yeah, we're actually doing kind of good over there. 21%. As long as it doesn't b fall to like 18 or lower, I'm actually kind of comfortable. 18 and lower is where I'm concerned. Food is having a little bit of issue. It might be... Let me slow it down a little bit. It might be time for me to start working on another canteen. And I know that seems kind of weird considering I just built this one. Put in another table here? No. I can only get water fountains there. That's actually kind of annoying. Farm dome patent acquired. Now how do I build it? Prioritize. Okay, so I bought a farm dome patent. What is this? Larger biodomes. That's what it is, it's just a larger biodome. Oh! That's cool. I'm actually- I'm fine with that. I thought it was gonna be its own unique building, but I'm totally fine with that. So... Starfort is about to be built. And that is... concerning. But I think it's gonna bring- okay, these meals are actually really concerning now. What is up with this? Why is no one- Is my vitro meat too far from storage? No. Is this too far? No. Yeah, if I'm gonna build anything, it's probably gonna be another canteen right there. But my meals doing this dip is scary. And it's probably because this canteen is... Oh no, it's... It's like right here. Starport has been built. Okay, so... If I click this button... Visitors. Now let's do a little, a really quick look at visitors. Where would it be? It wouldn't be in trade. Home. Base management? No. Structures. Exterior. Starport. Visitors. Visitors are people that are not living in the colony. They will typically come in the base, use services, and then pay for them with coins. They will only arrive through the starport and only if the colony has enough prestige. 
So, we should be getting some coinage from, from our visitors. But, uh, man. This is actually kind of a concern. Actually, let's also look at, really quick, my... My thing. Um... Colonist ship. Right, that allows in more colonists as well, doesn't it? Yeah, we got two. It looks like we got a biologist and a medic, I think. Yeah, a medic. I think what I need to do is cut down 5% on medics and up 5% on my workers and... I want biologist at that. Something like this, I think is gonna be good. Trading ship has landed, what do you got? Nothing, get away from me. But yeah, something like 5% guards is gonna be totally fine. 5% medics? I don't think I've ever really had a medic shortage. Dorm has no oxygen, what? What? Why do you have no oxygen? Is it really that far away? I don't think I can fix that. Not unless I got rid of this water tank. Which I might. I've never ever needed to use a water tank. And it would just attach to the canteen. Let me recycle this. Let me see if I can get... We've run out of medical supplies. Are you serious? I wasn't... I wasn't paying attention. Well, make more medical supplies. It's probably because I was just trading them all away, to be honest. I just need to stop giving away all of my stuff, and I'll be fine. But once all of this is moved, I can try to place an oxygen generator. Yeah! Now let's wiggle this around for a bit, make sure- nope, there was a spot. There was a spot right here. And that's part of the finesse of Planet Base, is you gotta wiggle around it a little bit. You just gotta wiggle it a little bit back and forth. Back and forth, right there. It was right, right here. Just gotta, just gotta wiggle it just a little bit. Get a different, get a different angle on it. Come on. I can only say wiggle so many times. You saw that I can place right here, and I want this big oxygen, damn it. It was right, it was right here, it was right here. Come on. Got it. Nailed it. I did it. I got it. I wiggled it so much. Oh boy, that was... That was intense. I think all of my current foods are in meal makers, processing. Or on the way to being processed. Colonist ship. Okay, we are currently at 93. How many are we gonna get from this? It is so big. And we got three. Cool. A biologist, a worker, and an engineer. Now we're out of medical supplies. This is a visitor ship. Okay. So, we got a visitor. Oh, shit. Oh. That's what visitors mean. They come in and they're unhappy with something and they're gonna try to fix it. Yeah, wait your turns. Are you intruders? Any of you intruders? Any of you? No, they're good. They're good. Folks are good. Okay, so. I think part of my issue also is that I let the- I built these. The drink machines and my food went down as a result. So I think it's time to duel. It's definitely time to duel with... Let's see, the storage is right here. I'm going to have... I'll plan it out. Biodome. Right there. Actually, I can kind of weasel it over here. Big ass biodome. I should be able to fit maybe like five things in each of these, I'm assuming. I'm thinking that's what it is. 
And then I'm going to do a canteen. Probably... Prob actually, probably right here, next to the oxygen. You know? So that'll be, like, comfy for him. And then, maybe like... Uh... Maybe like another storage somewhere out here, and then a another lab. So that I can get more medical supplies and I can get more tissue synthesizers. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I have so much bioplastic that building that thing is not scary to me at all. Because each thing in there is gonna take a bioplastic. You're calling a ship. We're at 98. One more! I love that I have this set up this way, by the way. I love how this is all set up. We've run out of medical supplies. Yeah, that's actually... It's actually really concerning. But people are constantly working on it. I will make sure to get more uh, medicinal plants in here as well. They're really good for trading, and I know you guys told me that, but... Visitor ship, okay. This other visitor ship still hasn't gone away. Alright, you're a little bit thirsty. You're a little bit sleepy. And you're a little bit hungry. Now, are any of you a little bit deadly? No. No, they look- they look fine. They look fine. Alright, I'll trust it. So yeah, the sleep thing, like I said, it's a little bit weird because they, I guess, try to do a day-night cycle. And, uh, they just, it's weird that they do that, but it, it makes sense. But I just wish they would do it whenever they were actually sleepy. And I wish the threshold was a little bit lower, too. Like, they, as soon as it gets to, like, two-thirds, they are immediately sleepy. How's this thing going? We still- we're still a little bit hung up on metal because I have, you know, machines working everywhere. I've got these spares workshops, probably- no, none of them have metal. Okay. I've- maybe there's some metal in here. Okay, stop making me a liar. 35 coins for services! Mmm! That is good. I thought I was only gonna get one coin each and I was like, I'm not so sure about this. But 35 coins. Mmm, that's good. Do you know how much trading I can do with 35 coins? I can get approximately 35 coins worth of stuff. Approximately. You're a visitor. So you can kind of tell they're all purpley. So now she's going to go to sleep. Most likely, I would assume. 35 coins. That is 35 coins I did not previously have. But yeah, food is scary. Medical supplies is kind of scary. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Do I need the lab first? Calling a ship. We're about to get our hundred milestone. Oh, it's just gonna troll me by giving me one. Oh, uh 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 oh. These are these are bads. These are bad guys. These are bad guys. I know. Visitors aren't supposed to come on colony ships, you assholes. Intruder! Pew pew pew! Eh. He's he's be bad too. Come on, Stephen Jimenez, Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. Pew 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 pew. Ha ha. You like that? Yeah. We have. We have three people. We have three people's blood on our hands. We got first, second, and third blood in this video. My god. Well, technically not. I think I had someone die before. Yeah, I've had people die to, like, meteors, but I, that's my first time shooting someone. Oh, I saw a visitor come back. We only have one left. This one's a trading ship. Oh, hey, 83 coins. Look at that. That is the massive storage thing. I don't have enough to trade for it. I can get down to 15 spares, but I'm still not super comfortable with that. My resources are actually doing good, so I'm not concerned about trading for that. 
Maybe I'll trade for a gun. 124. I will trade for a gun. A single gun. But those coins, those coins are going to be beautiful. 60 coins for my services. Man, that is amazing. What are you? You're a visitor ship. So, I'm noticing what I might have to do is because these visitor ships stay so long, let's make sure they aren't baddies. You guys baddies? No. Because they stay so long, I might actually need more starports and more landing pads. And realistically, I only need... Because trading ships land on landing pads, even though only when I have one starport... That takes a lot of energy. Holy crap. I can basically have just a ton of landing pads. Just like a slew of landing pads. And they can keep coming in. And I could just have one airlock over here or something with the uh, command center and all that. But again, I have no idea how I'm going to be building over here unless I do... Like, I I think I've actually backed myself into a corner. Because I can't connect an airlock to this. Or a oxygen gener generator. You know? So this might be... I might have screwed the pooch, essentially, is, is what I'm saying. Because, like, if I want an oxygen generator, it cannot go over here. And that is what I would need to build another base. And I'm just now realizing this. And that actually makes me really sad. So I, af like, right after this video, I'm posting on the forums. That, uh, yeah, that, something has to be done about that. Because I can't build past mountains. And that's kind of a bad thing. All right. I'm not doing trees, I am doing medical plants. Oh my god, I can fit six. We will do... Don't want to do six of those. I'll save that spot for later. We're going to do a variety of these in here. I really don't need more starch. I really do not need more starch. I am I'm good on starch. Admittedly, though, if I had starch coming right here, it would go in here, but it, again, it's not it's not a concern. Yeah, let's just throw on a few more. And I'm going to leave that one like that. I'm going to see how that does. But basically, we we just need more food because these are these are a little bit concerning, not having meals now. Man, I thought I was going to get to 100 people on this video, but I guess not. But yeah, I'm actually... Um, to expand my base, what would I have to do? I would actually have to... Oh my god, this is bad. What I would have to do is deconstruct all of this. Put it over here. Put all of my power over here. And build this way. That might be what I have to do. And that terrifies me. I think what I'm going to start doing... Well, obviously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't deconstruct it and then rebuild it. I would rebuild it and then deconstruct it. I think what I'm going to start doing in the next few parts is building power over here. Sorry for moving the camera so much, by the way. Alright, 98... 98 is the current number that I have. 100! Century reached. Achievement unlocked, desert base. Your colony now has 100 citizens. I did that. That's a thing that I did, and so much of it is because of you guys helping me out. And I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. But, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. And I want your thoughts on it, because I'm probably going to start with just doing, uh, like, a bunch of power over here. But, that's, I think, my only option. 
I think that is realistically my only option to be able to continue making my base any bigger. This isn't something that I really anticipated, but that's a half an hour long video. Kevin has no oxygen. You're having oxygen issues now? Really? That's a half an hour long video. I have to stop right there. Saving the game. That is save 19. My name is Nagark, and thank you for watching.